curfew rest of the week. All right, we're already on day eight of this. I just have an interesting observation, people. And I gotta preface this by saying I'm against police brutality. I'm against the police power tripping egos and the systemic racism, okay? And I understand I'm white, so I have a layer of white privilege, but please realize also I'm a felon that has been beat down by media different times in my life. One round of it was a whole political smear job. And so I've been stripped of a lot of my rights. I live off the grid. The government tries to fuck me up over and over and over again. So in some ways, I feel like I'm an oppressed person as well. But whatever. So check this out, people. This is just an observation. It's just a trippy thing to touch on, to go a little deeper onto my last two little clips before this, before I put this up on YouTube, because I just heard on the radio and I looked into it. But it's, it is so weird, like you and me can live our lives. And I'm going to do a whole video, okay, on why I feel like an unrealized joker and why I like... If not for my success, in spite of the government trying to fucking destroy my life, then um, I probably would be a joker. But um, I'm that brilliant, and I'm that smart, and I'm that creative to have overcome all of that. Given nothing. Can't get employed by anybody. I got the felon stigma. I'm a criminal, okay? People say I'm a criminal. They don't want to see me succeed. So, and that... that goes into what I'm about to say about George Floyd. But isn't it trippy like you and me can live our whole lives as a saint, helping out thousands or millions of people, donating our time at homeless shelters and food banks and volunteering, and we will never ever get <laughs> two memorials and shrines and murals and maybe a statue or two, right? Um, and it's just trippy like sometimes like now because of this movement that is way overdue it's not what you do in life which usually determines like how many people show up at your funeral it's what you do in death right because this dude george floyd like he's in heaven probably laughing his ass off he knows he has bad things to say about himself right like are you aware or not aware because the media is not talking about it and i think that's bullshit like yeah it's it doesn't have to be oh we, we can't talk about this because it's a distraction from the movement from from the real issue like no no that has that's irrelevant nothing to do with that like he was murdered yes that cop is a piece of shit that deserves to be in prison for a long time if not forever because he suffocated the life out of george floyd and he did not deserve to be brutalized suffocated arrested that way okay it wasn't it wasn't it was inhumane it was evil he had no emotion on his face like he he just thought he was a dog it was it's sickening that cop i'm not for police departments they're power tripping egos i've come across some evil cops throwing away my property treating me like trash when i was in federal prison so i'm on the protester side and you know sometimes it might take burning down a police department to uh make your point and make sure a message is heard loud and clear like hey fight fire with fire so all that aside, and that disclaimer at the beginning, okay, I am not saying like, oh, he deserved his that to die, but do you know, do you know, like, he was a violent criminal, and and I guess there's a police chief that's under fire now for saying, you know, George Floyd was a criminal, and it's like, hey, I, you, you can say I'm a criminal, and I can argue with you on the technicalities of it, maybe I was a criminal, but I mean, you can, and I have haters and trolls always wanting to see me fail, saying I'm a felon, and I'm a criminal, and so, like, it is an interesting little side note, and I'm just making an interesting video. Because you know what? If you're going to be a news junkie and follow news stories, you should know everything about the character that you're spending all your time getting news updates on and hearing about. So, you're hearing all about George Floyd's murder and seeing all these nice pictures of him in nice clothes with his mama and his family members saying how amazing of a person he is. But you should also know that he has a criminal record of a lot of violence five years in prison for armed robbery two more years in prison for for theft with a gun other criminal charges for drugs so he has a big rap sheet 
he you could say he was a shitty person that was a danger menace to society as recently as 2009 when he went away to prison for five years and before that you know the other gun charge gun robberies too so like maybe 2015 he got out and he's been a saint ever since i don't know but there was meth in his system on the autopsy again irrelevant as to the movement as to the issue of of this cop murdering him but like it's just a trip when you think about a druggy violent criminal is is getting all the memorials the statues the murals the shrines when kobe bryant a really cool dude a philanthropist a very good guy with the women's causes and everything like i was tired of all the kobe coverage like you know most people were after a week or two and he only got one televised memorial but george floyd's gonna get two and i'm just saying it's an interesting observation that you know you don't have to live like a saint or be a good person to end up with memorials and millions of people worshiping and idolizing and crying over you depending on the circumstance now this is a once in a lifetime thing i guess but it still does not take away from the from the trippiness of that fact and people are like is this finally gonna be the difference you know like this feels different this time of course it's different this time 30 percent unemployment because of the pandemic so when you throw a a plague in here you got a lot of people with a lot of time on their hands to keep the protests going and i'm entertained by these protests every single day i hope they keep going every single day and i hope i i, I don't mind some destruction okay i got the joker style in me and I'm all about rebellion and fucking authority and breaking the rules and being different, being unique. That's why I'm against the mask. You know, like everyone's just the just looking like a robot sheep that look all looks like the same. So I'm against all that. And I'm and I want to see the police have to take a step back and totally be restructured and everything like that. So I'm just pointing out that wow, what a trip. George Floyd. <laughs> he's up there, man. Like he's laughing his ass off because like he's seeing like people are getting doxxed and hated on and bullied and and having their employers called if you say one bad thing about george floyd like you're being called a racist and you're being called every name in the book and worse and threatened and everything and george floyd's probably like dude he doesn't even think that highly of himself and like he knows he was a criminal he knows he was a shitty person some of the time if not a lot of the time i don't know but i'm just saying like hey for the millions and millions and millions of people that are so obsessed with this story that aren't like have a huge stake in it because you are a poc right person of color um if you you know there's millions of people that are just posting their social media warriors posting the black black abyss pictures today and it's like hey if you're not like if you don't have a personal stake in this because you got white privilege but you're like fiending this fake this fake outrage and, 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 and horror and crying over it like at least like hear all sides of it and realize just just realize that like the world didn't lose anyone um that was helping society or contributing to society right like like just take solace in that i don't know like i'm not trying to be a, i'm not trying to say anything shitty or or say shitty things about a dead person i'm just saying like hey if all of your tears are because you're so sad for george floyd like just realize like he was he was like pointing guns at people okay robbing people armed robbery five years theft with a gun two years drug convictions meth in his system when he was dead so like he was a danger to society so maybe cry a little less over him if you were crying over him and cry over the systematic racism and how the cops do murder blacks the most and then mexicans too i guess um and so all you white privileged people out there that are just like being so annoying online and even blacks are are like dude just shut the fuck up with those black pictures because that's not helping anything social media is how you communicate not just putting that you know don't talk online all day come on just realize like that's what news ball is about like angles of a story that aren't being talked about so when the media is like oh we're not saying this person's name or showing their pictures because they're 16 or 17 it's like then why the fuck am i wasting my time if i'm getting an anonymous story about an anonymous person they're not going to tell you the details you could go to newsball.com and you know see the juicy stuff see who this character is in this story that the mass media won't 
won't name, won't show. And it's like, here is a whole, a week straight, never ending about George Floyd, and they're only showing one side of him. And it's like, it's okay to show the bad side of him and, and to not like have that distract from the main thing. It's not like, oh, if you show the whole story, well, no. Not the whole story, because there's only one story. He was murdered. But it's like, oh, you're not allowed to show different stories? Like, all right, now let's do a different segment on, you know, his past. And, like, why can't we talk about how many memorials? And, like, dude, like, really? Like, all of this? Is this all, all this, all this efficiency? This is, like, all of this going into this one person? No. Let's focus it all on change and everything, but you don't need to erect statues and shrines and, and murals. And this guy, this, this guy, he was, he was just regular at best, if not shitty and violent at worst. And yet, you and me will never get even uh, 10,000 people at our funerals. You and me and a hundred of us uh, watching this video, we're, we won't even get 10,000 people at our funeral let alone double mem memorials <laughs> and shrines and paintings and murals so all right that's all i just think it's so trippy right like like wait like we just went through all this in, in january february with kobe and and we all like kind of got an overload of kobe um tributes and and uh build up to that memorial and now it's like someone that is nothing like kobe um and he was actually <laughs> It was not it was he was not a good person for society I, I don't know man like am I just so blinded by white privilege that like like that is an incorrect thing to say like he's not a criminal you can say I'm a criminal okay like you you're 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 technically factual too so like y'all can go on hating or trolling me now or whatever i have no employer for you to bully me into silence with or to apologize for that's news ball never fucking think you can fucking bully me by trying to go find my employer because my employer is news ball which is me so there you go that's it that's my that's my take on george floyd's little side angle there like damn he's a criminal right like that's all right I'm just pointing it out. I'm not even, and I'm not even trying to like make any point other than like as trippy that a criminal, danger to society, druggy, violent criminal can have memorials, statues, murals, shrines that millions and millions are millions are crying over. But I mean, the ones that are crying over the bigger issue, it's totally like I'm not mocking that at all. It's it's hundred percent legit. And these cops need to be taught a lesson and need to be punished and there needs to be changed but come on like enough about george george floyd and let's now like let's now let's now uh transition into just like can we like go a segment without george floyd in it just talk about the changes like just swift changes like the virus stuff the pandemic like we're we're doing we're jumping through hoops taking down the red tape to get a vaccine hopefully by the end of the year it's june 2nd by the way like can we do the same thing and stop talking about george floyd and now just fucking take down red tape and just attorney generals for each state need to just come into police departments and just do immediate change it's like that simple like let's just it's just that simple okay do it let's get the change going all right equality for everybody that's all i don't know I'm just winging it. I don't like cut, 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 cut video segments. I don't like 50 different edits. So I think I've said everything that's on my mind just off the top of my head. There you go, people. I'll just cut this down to probably uh, 15 minutes because I got uh, two other minutes to throw in here.